Streams now live, it says. Damn it, Paul. All right, all right here we go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Primetime Gorehounds, episode 85 of the Primetime Gorehounds. I am Primetime James Timms here with the Gorehound himself, Paul Burt, on Friday, April, oh, shit, excuse 19. me, April 19th. 2024 watching Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey first time watching for me and uh, should be a good one it is officially uh, 428 Eastern time over here on my time uh, Paul what is it on your neck of the woods half 10 half uh half past 10 and it is paul time uh ladies and gentlemen hit that like subscribe button and we are live uh, yes indeed yes indeed uh apologies for being late um i literally overslept uh, by the time i woke up it was about five minutes till show time and i i messaged paul and i'm like i you're gonna have to give me a minute but um yeah, but I, yes I, 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 I have to say someone in the chat, they're like, where is everybody? I said, we're, we're getting ready. Bear with us. <laughs> yes, yes. I was sleeping. Okay, I was getting my beauty sleep. Okay, but beauty yes. Um, <laughs> but but yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are here uh, for Winnie the Pooh, uh, Blood and Honey. Uh, before we get to that, um, hopefully everyone in the chat has had a great week. Good start. Uh, to the weekend, man. Time is going by fast. It was like it was literally. It literally felt like Monday. Now we're already here on Friday. Before we know it, it'll be Sunday night. Heading back into the work week on Monday, man. Time goes fast once you get older. It doesn't make any sense at all. But Paul, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Just had to uh, unblock the toilet. We had a bit of a situation here, but apart from that, I'm look, 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 something don't have to, something you don't you don't have to say live, bro. You don't have to say it online. I'm not going to go into any further details. I'm just going to leave it at that. But apart from that, right. um, uh, things are going good. I'm basically getting myself ready for my next upcoming uh, photo trip. Going to be uh, doing, going to be taking part in another Venice Carnival themed event that's taking place in a town in France. I'm going to be taking some photos like I've done before, just to have some fun. And of course, I'll be done in the costume one more time. So um, it's going to be fun. Uh, yes, indeed, uh, and uh, yeah, then that just reminds me um, that uh, that due uh, to Paul's trip uh, next week, there will not be a Gorehound episode next Friday. There will no be there won't be a Gorehound episode next Friday, uh, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I may still try to you know put some sort of content up uh, for the time being, but as far as primetime Gorehounds, that will not happen next Friday. So yes, yes, indeed. Well, that's for me. Um. Yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a pretty good week, you know, for me. Um, yeah. you know, I had a. I think Paul, you saw my promo segment, which yes, is on Primetime Game Thomas Wrestling Channel. Uh, what'd you think? Well, I will admit this. It's been a really good build up. I've been enjoying the story that's been going on since the whole thing started last summer, and it's now culminated to this. So, um. Very, it was a very good delivery on the promo. Now you got to deliver with with an epic match. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, got no choice at this point. Um, yeah, you got it. This can't is be it. A, yeah, 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 yeah. It can't be. I can't. I can't. Jimmy and Jay Uso it for sure. No, you don't um, want to do that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy and Jay Uso and go out there and blow it. Yeah, oh, um, dude, they, they, they shit the bed on that one. I was looking forward. They shit to the bed, fight, but. I mean, yeah, they, 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 they should be look, 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 I like Jimmy and Jay Uso, but 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 I'm I'm glad people aren't bullshitting about it. That 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 that, that they know that yeah they 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 blew it. Uh, they got to redeem themselves. Hopefully, they're gonna re 
they probably won't they get a rematch, but if they get a rematch, they they, they gotta bring it because that WrestleMania match was ugh. Well, I will but, say um, if you're gonna do a rematch, it would have to be at Backlash and make it a last man standing match. Something, something, because yeah, man, just I get it's part of WWE's fault because you know they hardly put any heat behind it. They just assume that because it's brother versus brother, that's the story in itself. Like, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, You're not gonna I mean, get look, that same respect with Undertaker and Kane. I mean, that match was fucking yeah. epic. Well, 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 why? Well, one, they consistently built that storyline from week to week like a good. Okay, so so. So Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman, Paul Bear mentioned Kane was burned. Well, Kane, he mentions Kane around m- April, May of 1997. Yeah, Kane makes yeah, his but- debut in October of 1997, and they have their match. Yeah, uh, March of 1998. So damn near a year. Yeah, <laughs> they I'll built never, that. I'll never forget that time when. Paul Bear is coming out saying murder and, and Undertaker just starts slapping the shit out of me. He's like, tell me the truth. I'll kill you where you stand right now. If you don't tell me, I'm just like, oh shit. <laughs> you better tell him. Yeah. yeah, they didn't do what they didn't do what Jimmy and Jay did, where yeah, they 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 interact like once every like six months. And then the final three weeks before Mania, they start building their feud. Like the fuck out of here. Um yeah. and then you had that infernal match a month after WrestleMania, which well, I thought was pretty good. Yeah, Triple H kind of fucked up on that one. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> he totally fucked up. He totally fucked that one up. So I'm gonna imagine. <laughs> so yeah. So uh so tonight uh it's gonna be a first time viewing, uh watching Winnie the Pooh, uh Blood and Honey, uh where apparently the Winnie the Pooh property um is now public domain which means any and anyone can take the property and do whatever they please uh yep. to the property and um and these film directors decided you know what the first thing we're gonna do is make it a horror to have a horror movie and then um and i remember when the news first broke there was some genuine curiosity i wasn't people were excited about it there was curiosity uh behind it yeah. Um, hell, Paul. I mean, I guess there's so much curiosity. These mother, these guys, um, announced a trilogy even before the first movie even came out. Oh, they've done more than announce a trilogy. This is actually the first installment of a bigger franchise, something they call the TCU, which is aka Twisted Childhood Universe. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is the first of that. And then you had the sequel, which came out, um, about a month ago, which I'm waiting for the Blu ray release on. But we're also going to have at least, hang on, one, two, three, about six more movies coming. So we got three movies coming out this year. We, next up is going to be Bambi the Reckoning. Then it's Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare, Pinocchio Unstrung. And then in 2025, we're going to have something called the Puniverse Monsters Assemble, which is kind of like their version of the Avengers, which is all the characters we're going to be seeing leading up to this whole thing. And then, also, of course, next year, we got a third Winnie the Pooh movie coming. And in 2026, we got uh, an Awakened Sleeping Beauty horror movie coming. So this is like the first of a big franchise they want to try and put together. Now, how I first came across this movie, I remember um, one of my friends posted me a a news article to this. And I just thought, "Ah, you fucking movie. There's no way they're going to do this. Because I remember Hanna-Barber Studios did an official canon to the Banana Splits franchise and made that into a horror film, which is actually an official canon. So when I heard this was happening... And and the reason being is because the intellectual property is now open season for the first time since 1921. Um, yeah, I was curious to checking it out, and I remember it caused a bit of a buzz. I remember people were people were either curious or they were like, "Oh fuck, this movie! This movie's like going to be dog shit or whatever." And either way, the movie did cause a reaction, which is I'm guessing is what they were looking for. I mean, okay, the movie was pretty much panned by critics, but the movie went on to make 5 million against a budget of 50 grand. And then that, I guess, garnered enough reasons to form a sequel, which ended up having a budget of 350,000. And um, ever since then, I guess you could say it's been kind of building momentum ever since. And that's when they had bigger plans to to create more and Mm -hmm. add more characters to this whole thing. Okay, wait wait a minute. I thought, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought, uh, wasn't this supposed to be like a Grinch? 
horror film. Oh yeah, that was a that was a different movie altogether. Something called The Mean One, which is actually the guy that plays the Grinch in that movie is actually the same guy that played Art the Clown. Uh, that was a different movie altogether. That's not part of this um, Twisted oh, Childhood universe. Okay. Gotcha. But um, yeah, because this is like a straight up indie made uh, British film, believe it or not. And um, I think the reason why this movie, I guess you could say kind of the success for this movie came because of the whole thing with with um, Terrifier 2 because at that time... Completely, this, completely, yeah. completely, completely, you know, going off the momentum of Terrifier 2. Yeah, I mean, that movie, Terrifier 2, whether you like it or not, it opened the floodgates for a lot of other filmmakers to think, hey, you know what? If that film was an indie-made film and it made a splash, maybe we got a chance at doing something. Okay, this one didn't make as much as Terrifier 2, but $5 million is nothing to, is nothing to stick your nose up at. I mean, that's some serious money for a film like this. So they they had they got something here. Okay, all right. Well, uh, so we'll uh, we'll see how I feel about this movie uh, right now. So uh, I'm watching this. Uh, it's streaming on Peacock. So I'll watch this on Peacock. Paul's watching this on Blu-ray. Yep. Um, I'm about. At the point where it says uh, ITN distribution, yep. um, uh, we go. Uh, of course, you can watch it along with us uh, live in the archive, or you're watching live with us. Um, you can just um, meet us up at where it says ITN distribution. We got that's where we got it paused. Um, and if uh, if uh, you are. Uh, don't be afraid to leave your thoughts and comments in the chat. Uh, well, me and Paul will give our live reactions uh, to this movie as well. Uh, we And the rules are we go three, two, one, play. We say we, three, two, one, play. When we say play, you press play. Again, three, two, one, play. Say play, you press play. And if you don't press play, you're going to have a very split and headed compliment of a car tire. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Let's see. Uh, let's see if this movie uh, is worth the buzz. All right. In three, two, one, play. We are in. Jagged Edge Productions. Yep, that's the people who made this film. In the Hundred Acre Woods, a young boy named Christopher Bogan came across the Christopher Robin, okay. Hundred Acre Woods. So they have a little bit of the continuity with the story about how he found them, but this is going to be a little different this time around. Because as you know, they, they cannot use their actual likeness because Disney owns that part of the whole thing. But as far as the the characters and the name, it's like I said, it's intellect the end of the property is now open season, so anybody can grab it. And these guys were lucky enough to grab it at the right place at the right time. So According to that story, Christopher Robin got older and uh, went for college. And I'm guessing that's where the problem lied. Okay, I like uh, I like the animation here telling the backstory. I like that. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Oh... They killed Eeyore! Damn! Oh, yeah, they killed him. They were hungry. <clears throat> and after since then... Oh, there you go. <laughs> so after they killed Eeyore, that was it for them. Yeah. <laughs> 
But here's the thing, though. If Christopher Robin went to college, surely during the holiday breaks, he could have at least gone back to check if they were all right. Right? Okay, all right. Um, I'm, uh, that, uh, that little animation thing uh, got me intrigued. Okay, got me interested. That's a, that's a nice nice way to start the film. Mm, I agree. Man, I, oh, I thought that girl was Dale Harris for a second. <laughs> Imagine if it was. That would have been wild if they did. So where was this movie uh, filmed? This whole film was completely done in England. This is a British-made movie. I'm, tr I'm just going to see where exactly the location was. It was filmed in Ashdown Forest in East Sussex, England, which is about 200 miles away from Plymouth. Okay, okay. And what was the budget? Is it 50000 Yeah, according to what I've read, the budget was 50000 but it went on to make $5 million. That ain't shit. So, uh, as I said, I think this movie had the uh, the Terrifier effect. Terrifier had the same budget, did it? Uh, Terrifier one had a budget of thirty grand, if I remember correctly, and it went on to make a hundred thousand. But Terrifier was even cheaper. Wow. Yeah, and then Terrifier two came out. It made two hundred. It was cost two hundred fifty thousand, and it went on to make fifteen million. Which to this day. I still find very surprising that they were able to pull that off. <clears throat> but I know, I remember, like I said, when this movie came out, I remember people were so, I remember some diehard fans were so offended at the idea that this was a horror movie. But it was the same thing that happened with Banana Splits. You know what I'm saying? You had some fans that were like that. But me, I'm just like, you know what? I want to check it out anyway because for better or for worse, I'm probably going to find some stuff that I will enjoy in it either way. I mean, because I am a horror movie guy just like any, as much as the next guy. So, Yeah, I mean, but there's also the point where, you got, where I'm kind of like um... – like, why would you take a children property that a lot of kids grew up either watching or reading? And why would you want to scare the shit out of them um, at the same time? I mean, I mean, granted, a lot of our favorite childhood fables really look deep. If you really look deep into it, have a really dark meaning behind it. But yeah. but 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 I but I I just feel like it's a really really risky uh, move to take, which obviously worked out for these guys um but yeah it's I mean, a it's, it's a very interesting decision to make i mean like imagine making, was... ima imagine taking imagine imagine toy story went to public domain and then somebody made that into a horror film which you easily could called killer I'd be, dolls <laughs> i'd be curious in seeing it i, I i'd be down to checking it out I mean, I'm like, Man, what, what was your, I'll, um... I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be disgusted i'll be disgusted toy story was my movie growing up i'll be disgusted yeah, I grew up watching Toy Story. I mean, I'm fucking hell. I was like, um, I was 11 years old when that came out, the first one. I remember seeing it in the cinema back in the day. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. So these weren't like, these were like legit, like animals, right? According to what they said, that's where they were going with this. Hybrids, I guess they were calling them in here. Almost like a human oh. hybrid. Oh, okay. I think they. I think in the sequel, because like I said, one of my friends saw the sequel in the cinema in London, and he did say that part two explains it a little more. But he also said it was an improvement over this one too. So I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the sequel in the cinema because, again, it had a very limited cinema run. So the only cinema I knew that had it in England was the Odeon Cinema in London. I wasn't going to travel 200 miles just to see one movie. Now, come on. So I had to wait. But, I mean, like, what was your thoughts when you first heard... I, th I think it was me that sent you the information about this when it first got announced. What was your thoughts going into this when I when I said this was going I down? Was, I was not interested at all. <laughs> now, for me, like I said, when one of my friends told me about it, I thought it's a ballsy move, but being the being the kind of person I am... 
that morbid curiosity. I'm like, I got it. I got to see this for myself. I just had to. So this is the uh, that little playhouse place where Christopher Robin and all that hung out back in the day. You know, for a movie that had a 50 grand budget, they did okay with the production value. So they're looking for Winnie, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Piglet and all them. Yeah, he's trying to find their friends because he's, you know, he's been away for five years. And you saw in that animated storyline what happened since he's not been around. Yes, J-Mac, I, I agree. Uh, initially, I thought I thought it was a joke myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I, originally, it started off as a viral thing, but because the news went viral, that's when they decided to turn it into a full-fledged movie. They had no choice but to do it because it, it garnered an interest, positive or negative, you know? <clears throat> but just like that Banana Splits movie, I was amazed that somebody literally had the fucking balls to um, turn this well-known, beloved character into a horror franchise. So I gotta give the guys credit for the, for at least trying it. So they're hiding. They're hiding under the bed or table. Yeah. I think that's Pooh Bear. It's a nice little suspenseful build up so far, so that's pretty good. So he's gone to sleep. He's under that bed. So you might want to, like, uh, if you're going to try and sneak out, I suggest you sneak out without making a damn noise. Again, good production value, but the way, you know, for a 50 grand movie, they were able to get this stuff in there? Jesus Christ, how long have they been there? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, they got to try and sneak out. Man, man, trying to sneak out somebody's sleep is the most, is literally the most uh, annoying thing because even when everything's quiet, every noise you make gets like super louder. There were times when I snuck in, where I snuck, I snuck out of the house, and when whenever whenever I snuck back in, like the floor creaks me even louder than usual. I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's happened to me a few times when I try to sneak out quietly at my place, and I was, it was, it was all of a sudden this like creaky floor, and I'm like, "You weren't there last night. How did you show up all of a sudden?" But yeah, like the 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 trying to sneak out while sleeping scene. Oh shit! Well, oh, that's Piglet. Oh okay. That's definitely Piglet with a big ass chain. Well, you're gonna. Why are you so? He's, there? He's, he's, uh, so he's just gonna. So he's just gonna. He's just gonna allow. He's just gonna allow. Oh, okay. All right. That's what I was thinking. I was like, "Are you gonna do something? Like, that's your girl, man." All right, fine. He just. Oh, her eyeballs popped out of her face. He could have done something. Come on, man. He, you, you and I both know. Wait, he wait, wait, done wait, wait, wait. How did her eyeballs? How did her eyeballs pop out? <laughs> Must have applied so much pressure, caused a lot of that to pop out the head, didn't it? That 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 could happen. Oh, that oh oh, that's a cool shot. That's a nice shot, of Pooh Bear. Yeah, that's a cool shot. I like it. Now, I'm not 
I'm not too sure what to make of the look because I know that on the sequel the look has somewhat changed because again they got a bigger budget, but you can only do so much with fifty grand, I guess. But I do I do like the, but the wait initial. A minute. They are pissed off with him. Okay, is this the final guy? I don't like the fact that he's crying a lot. Yeah, he's acting like a bitch right now. But then again, Christopher Robin's the kind of person that wouldn't hurt a fly, right? So simple like this would traumatize him, I guess. He's one of those type of people. But then again, I'm guessing he's that fucking traumatized because, I mean, these were things that he considered friends. Okay, wait. So... That was the title opening, the prelude. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So the so we there's Pooh and Piglet. Yep. Where where's where's the other ones? Where's Owl? Where's Tigger? They're gonna. Do they show up, up in, at all? They show up in the sequel. Tig. They don't because you see at the time, Pooh Bear and Piglet were the only two characters available at that point. Uh, when they got around to filming the third one, the second one, late last year. Then the other characters like Tigger and Piglet became available from what I've been oh, reading. Okay. So they only these were the only two that was open season at the time. Uh as the as the year went on, the other characters became available. And uh yeah, there was there was casting calls for the sequel, and uh yours truly came close to being involved in it. But um apparently the filming took place around the same time I was heading to Schwerin, Germany, so I couldn't I couldn't go as much as I would as much as I wanted to. If I wasn't doing that trip, I'd then yeah, I probably would have been in the sequel. But uh, I am I I am keeping an eye on it because I think they do just, I think they are doing some more open casting calls for their future projects. So if I get a chance to be involved in that in somewhere down the road, I'm definitely gonna take it if I get a chance. Oh, okay, nice, interesting, interesting. All right, so yeah, we just went through uh, the title and, and sequence, uh, which was which was decent. Um, not sure how I feel about the look of because uh, it kind of looks like it clearly, from what I saw, it clearly looked like dudes wearing masks. Yeah, um, but um, I got once they show me, I got to take a good look at it, but. But it, it, it kind of looked like it kind of looked like dudes wearing like 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 Halloween masks. So hopefully, hopefully that changes when the movie progresses. I think, like I said, um, I think when you see the sequel, because I've seen so many images on the sequel, they definitely have switched their look up a lot more. Because again, they have more money to play with, so they could make the characters more intimidating looking with their appearance. At the time, like I said. No one did anything like this before, so they were literally just, I guess you could say, grabbing what they could and see what could stick, you know? All right, I'm assuming this is the final girl. Uh, it's been a year since I've seen it, but I'm going to take a guess and say, yeah, I think it is. But, yeah, uh, but yes, the people that saw the movie in the chat, uh, without spoiling it, spoil it, tell me uh, what you guys think of the film. Uh, see, it looked like we got the final girl here, allegedly uh, in a therapy session. Oh, uh, yeah, like I've never seen that before. Uh, <laughs> I've seen that in plenty of movies. Plenty of movies. But yeah, I'm just reading into this. Uh, check this out. It seems like the production of the film became possible in 2022 after the novel entered public domain in the U.S., which marked this first appearance of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and Christopher Robin. Thus, last the, the novel characters. came out like the novel came out like what 1920 something, right? 
1926, yeah. So it lapses the characters into the public domain. The characters could not, however, resemble the Disney versions because that's protected by the copyright that Disney put out. So they had to try and make it their own appearance, but kind of keep a little bit of similarities to them. So you can see there was a little bit of similarities with how they look, but molded in their own horror movie way. And I also just read here also, it looks like this film was initially shot in eight days. So they filmed this in a week. And like I said, Tigger what? was... What? Eight days? That's what I'm reading on the IMDb's trivia, yeah. Man, they, they, they Tyler Perry this shit. I'm sick. They initially shot this in eight days. That's what it says. Um, now, it says here Tigger was originally going to be in this one, but he wasn't shown due to the copyright at Disney. Once he became public domain, then he appeared. That's why he was. That's why he's in the sequel and not this one. But from what my friend told me, he told me that Tigger's a fucking nutter in that sequel, man. Ah, uh, the girl going into a creepy, uh, creepy uh, gas station. Where you haven't seen this before. <laughs> yep, and we got we got a few of those here in the UK. Oh, and of course, yeah, yeah, of course. Not only a creepy gas station, but multiple missing per missing persons photos. Yeah. Yeah, that's never a good sign. Like I said, there's there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh horror movie tropes in this. I, I know I know that's one of the things that most of the audience and critics pointed out about this. So I'm assuming that these people or uh, uh Winnie and them uh tried to kill everybody in the area, huh? Anybody that steps in those words, yeah. And this is all because when you think about it, this is none of this would have happened if Christopher Robin at least checked back on him during the holiday breaks. Ah, so uh, they got him. But, yeah, I mean, think about it. I mean, he, he was with them while he was growing up as a kid, but then he went to college, and you would have you would have thought if you were doing college right, you would have at least checked back during the half term break or weekends, right? He didn't even do it. It's like he completely forgot them, and I'm guessing that's why they're so pissed off at him. And anybody that steps in that woods after they killed Eeyore, that was it. That guy looks so familiar. Yeah, I've seen him somewhere before. What the hell did he? What the hell is his name? I he looks. He, he looks like one of the. He looks like one of the guys from Wrong Turn. Isn't it? It's either Richard D. Myers or it's Jazz Rivers. Like I recognize that face. Like like that. I the, do the, too. Like that that that, that 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 face. And then because I just watched Wrong Turn, like a few weeks ago, and I think it's. And, I think it's. I think it's Richard D. Myers. I, I I don't know his name, but 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 he was. I think he was like the very the very eccentric, la the one that was always laughing. Three fingers. Yeah, three fingers. Yeah, I he that kind of looked like him. I could I'm be looking, wrong. I'm looking it up. I'm just gonna see. Where well, it's not Richard D. Myers. I'm gonna check Jess Rivers because he looks a little like it. Let me see. Um. No. I'm gonna keep scrolling. Hold on. No, it's not. It looks like him, but it's not the same guy. Okay. All right. Okay. Because <coughs> I was convinced. So we, got the, so we got these four women um, going to a, a cabin in the woods, huh? Another horror movie trope. Again, like I said, there's, there's a lot of tropes in here. You can clearly see it. But again, like I said, this is the first time. You're breaking up, Paul. You're breaking up. You're breaking up, Paul. Breaking up. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me um, let me just pull the mic out a second. Hang on.
Okay, how about now? You're good now. Yes. Probably the microphone connection. But yeah, as I was saying, um, this is the first time anybody's done anything like this with these characters. So they're just basically throwing ideas to the open to see what sticks, I'm guessing. Fascinating. Fascinating. Um, EJ Movement says, uh, I was wondering how this could work when I heard about the news about this movie, but I give it a chance because, hey, why not? A whole universe, though. Don't know how that will go. Yeah, you said the, the, you, you said the TCU? Twisted Childhood Universe. I'm going to post up the Wikipedia for you guys to read in the chat. Give me a second. You can see what it is they're planning to do here. Now, why would you go under the woods? There it is. It's in the chat box. I'm going to give it to you as well, James, so you can have a read of it on your on your Facebook chat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We're jumping right in it. We're jumping right in it. <laughs> did, expect, did not expect him to run. <laughs> well, he's running. <laughs> Bit convenient. There's like a old ass garage in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Man, there was no build up to that. There was no build up that. They just went straight to it. Jesus. Right in, yeah. No suspense, just right into it. Isn't that what you usually want to have in a slasher film? Yeah, but. I know you need a build up too. I know. Damn, he's fat, <laughs> but he's pretty agile. <laughs> That's the thing. You, sometimes when it comes to people with spare tires for guts, appearances can be deceiving when it comes to their agility. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, shit. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at. I mean, <sighs> look Willie at Mac? Kevin Owens. Look at Ivar. Like like Ivar is fat as hell, but this thing this thing can do springboards. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. Um. Titty action. Oh. Okay. It's That's showtime. <laughs> yep. Oh. 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 Shit. Ooh, okay. And now feeding her to a wood chipper after. Wow, there you go. Legs are still moving. <laughs> oh, it's still moving. Ah. <laughs> well, she perished. Oh, that was. Well, CGI blood, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brutal, I'll give you that. And yes, the woods in our, in, our, in the UK are dark as like that, yes. That's almost like the woods I got in Plym Valley, they're like that. Are these bees? Yep. All right, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Pretty good kill. It was all right. Oh, we got a, got a, got a, got a lesbian couple here. Yep. Oh, they're sisters. Pick one. I hope they're sisters. I hope they're sisters. Oh, this is really weird. Hey, it's 2024. Okay, so Paul knows uh, sisters uh, that are very close, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I've known a few. That is weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that is fucking weird. <laughs> Let me, I don't judge. Listen, I'm all for lesbian couples, okay? I, I encourage lesbian couples. But if y'all are yeah. sister doing that shit, then y'all need some psychological help. <laughs> I could be wrong, but hey, whatever happens, happens. Hey, she's a rock chick. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why does this house almost look like the house from that Friday the 13th remake? 
It does look like a house from uh, straight out of Friday the Thirteenth. You're right. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so are these girls like friends or are they like sisters? Like, what's the connection? Um, let me just have a look. Hang on. If I remember correctly, I think they're um college friends of Christopher Robin. I think. If I remember right, I don't remember. I don't. I do not remember them once bringing up Christopher Robin. But all right, I could be wrong. But I know they're definitely a group of friends that's gone to this house because this used. I think this is the cabin that Christopher Robin used to run during his college breaks or something. I don't know. Okay. Keep in mind, folks. It's, it's been a full-on year since I last saw this. <laughs> And ironically enough, it's one year today since I last saw it. That looks like a girl here is a looks like one a flashback. Okay, so she's got a bit of a connection to this place, if that's the case. Oh. So she saw something here. Yeah, so did Chris on Friday the 13th, part three. Maybe they saw Jason. Maybe maybe, um, uh, maybe Jason's a part of the Winnie the Pooh crew. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? They could they, they could not afford Jason. <laughs> Jason, yeah, Jason's pretty much the Brock Lesnar of this universe. You got to pay him high money oh, yeah, to appear gonna in your pay, movie. You're going to have to pay a nice lump of money for that one. I, I I will give this movie uh, a break, but I, I am getting like sci-fi movie vibes. I was thinking that too. How it's shot, how it's, uh, it's uh, something you see out of, out of a sci-fi film. Yeah. So she, let me guess, she was, she was attacked. I'm guessing. Wait, the fuck? Oh, oh, so she had a yeah. stalker. She had a stalker. Wasn't that that dude at the gas station earlier? No, I don't think oh. so. <laughs> this this motherfucker trying to cop a feel. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that 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 that, that would be. Uh, that would be scary. Yeah. Yeah, those are the type of guys that need to get beat the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like you like you literally ruin the game for all of us when you do, when people do stupid shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm just reading something here on the um movie trivia. It turns out this movie was not <laughs> was nominated for five Raspberry Awards and ended up getting all five of them. A Razzie? Yeah, all five of them. But the filmmaker yeah, didn't. Yeah, that's a. The director didn't care. He was like, "Fuck it, I'll take it." <laughs> Is Winnie the Pooh exercising? I guess to power up the plate. No, Piglet is. The fuck is he exercising for? Power up the generators, right? How else are they gonna get the oh, power? Oh, up? Oh, okay, 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 oh, okay. What is it? What is it? That is so random. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, there's nothing left of that corpse on the hook. He got hungry. No shit. So they've been holding because Robert's hostage. Yeah. And starving him. Well, don't forget, he did leave them behind. So he was oh, so he must have been there for a while. Yeah, I'm going to take a wild guess and say maybe two or three months, judging from the body mass. Yeah, those are obviously, those are obviously masks. Those are obviously masks. Spirit, those are spirit Halloween masks. 
<laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like I said, this movie did have a budget of fifty grand, so. Nah, 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 fuck that. Terrifier had 30 grand and and, and, and their shit and, and Arthur costume will look more authentic. I know, but getting costumes here in the UK can be a bit of a nightmare to get at times. You don't we don't have like a lot of good shit readily available like other places do. I'm trying to figure out who the hell is playing Pooh Bear in this. Wait, so do they like go into the lore of Winnie the Pooh? Like they don't do they try to like expand on it on the universe of Winnie the Pooh? Well, that's the whole point about these sequels. They they're gonna expand a lot more on it because again, not many people knew this movie was gonna be a hit. I mean, this was originally gonna be a one shot deal, but because it went on to make five million, um that's why they're gonna expand on it a lot more. I can hear myself echoing on the on the other end, by the way. But yeah, I reckon it's because of, um, again, like I was saying, the movie was originally going to be a one-shot deal. But because this movie garnered a lot of buzz, for better or for worse, and again, it went on to make $5 million, they thought, okay, now that we got these other intellectual properties, we're going to expand on it more. They kind of dive into the past a bit, a little bit about why they're like this as the film progresses. But I, I think the sequel... From what my friend told me when he watched it, they definitely do deep dive a lot more into the history of why they're like they are. So we're only getting like a tip of the iceberg stuff with this one. That is so Friday the 13th remake right there. Jason smashing shit up. <laughs> But you can see, man, I mean, Pooh's clearly angry with Chris. And like I said, I think all this could have been avoided if he did check up on him a little bit. They have not got over what they did to Eeyore. And what do you think, James? The fuck? Is he whipping him? He's whipping him with Eeyore's tail, yeah. Would that hurt, though? If you hit him hard enough, yeah. Look at his back. Oh, shit. So he's torturing him. Yep. Could you saw in that animated story intro what, what caused him to be like this? Again, there's nothing. Oh, that's that woman that Piglet strangled. Remember her? There's nothing left of her now. Oh, okay. The hair was the recognition of it. We've gone into, like, Texas Chainsaw hostile territory right now with this scene. So they, so they ate his wife. <clears throat> Got it. Ate his girlfriend, yeah. And now the blood's feeding into the... Oh, it's raining blood. They're showering him in it. Mm. It's pretty brutal. I'll give him, I'll give him that. Some of these cinematography shots ain't too bad either, especially with these woodlands here. I mean, okay, I know that bit's lit up in the back, but still. Yeah, that, that, that shot of him was fine. Yeah, 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 the lit up woods. I, I, you know, I fucking hate that. I hate that. Yeah, I know. But I think about the woods here in England, dude. They are dark as shit. It's, they're not open woods like the ones you got where you were at, man. You remember those woodlands and dog soldiers? That That is actual dense woods. No, that's that's they, they they should be like I, I get yo know, the studios and all that stuff, but that's why the first 
couple Friday the 13th films are so good because the woods are literally the woods. Exactly. It's another reason why, you know, Blair Witch did pretty good with the woodland scene. It was so authentic how they did it. And with the Friday the 13th movies, of course, we're going to get a selfie here. Let me guess. He's going, he's going, he's going up here behind her. Why she taking a selfie? <laughs> One of them, I think, is going to show up. Has all the hallmarks of it building up to it. God, though, she is fine looking. I've got to admit. Yeah, she, 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 she's attractive. Damn, we are 38 minutes into this film already. It's flying, dude. Damn, you're right. Oh, shit, you're right. Look in the picture. See it there in the back? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, you were right about that. That's great. That is great. <laughs> oh, wow. Listen to this. When this movie was released last year, it marked the anniversary of Disney's Winnie the Pooh projects during its 35th anniversary. So it came out during the 35th anniversary of the cartoon series that Winnie the Pooh did in 88 and the 20th anniversary of Piglet's big movie and 40 years Look, they, they literally released this film on the anniversary of all these other well-known ones. Oh, I'm talking about Anne Salt Little Wound. Damn, they knew what the fuck they were doing, man. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna lie. I think uh, I think those are actual natural those are natural breasts. They don't look they don't look fake. They look natural. Yep. Those are authentic as it gets, man. They they do look authentic. English chicks, man. Oh, shit. I will say I do. I I do like some of the cinematography. You know, I do yeah, like I some of it. Some of it's pretty good. The way yeah, I like that. Then, the light flashing. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer when the light flashes on them. I like that. I like that. That is cool. Just not the biggest fan of their costumes. Yeah. Well, again, like because said, they're, they're, they're supposed to be, you know, these creatures but they obviously look like dudes wearing masks yeah the, the, they're human i guess they they're trying to say that they're like humanoid hybrids of par animal par human. <laughs> but, but are they <laughs> i guess they're, they're just chloroformed they're just chloroformed <laughs> yeah, they, 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 yeah, they she's out <laughs> she's out dude Well, I gotta admit, they're not wasting time. I will give them that. They can drive too long. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Get you know, oh, the fuck out of here. How do you explain Michael Myers knowing how to drive and he never drove a car in his life? That's different. He's a he's a he's a human being. Same thing applies here. I mean, how else have they been hiding? They're the humans. Cars about how else are they hiding the cars of the people they killed? They must have learned it somewhere. And he's got a sledgehammer. It's all about the game and how you play it. You sure that's not Triple H behind that mask? The body build looks nah, kind of man, similar. Man, I don't need Triple H in another horror film. I saw Blade Trinity. I'm good on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I still couldn't believe he was in that one when I first saw it. I was like, really, dude? So he's going to run her over. Remember what I said? What happens if you don't press play? That red lighting in the car is pretty good. Ah, he's going to do it slow. Ah. That is sadistic. Ooh! Ooh! God, that looks so fake, though. 
Yeah, but it's still brutal. It's brutal, but the, the CGI, the C, the CGI, the CGI though was terrible. <laughs> yeah, the CGI with the head crushing. Yeah, I mean the the eyeball was was makeup, but the CG head shrinking part. I'm just like, all right, man. But again, like I said, I guess the reason they did CG for most of it was, I guess, to save money on the budget. Because, like I said, it was a very limited budget. I but probably, again, I, I probably, I probably would have dug that kill if it was more practical. Yeah, I mean, like you said, Terrifier had. Here's another I mean, thing too. I know they're taking this. I don't watch this film. They're taking this super serious. I did notice that too. They were going for a now, serious. Now, I, I'm cool with that, but 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 at the same time, though, it's like it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, like what were they? Oh shit! There's nothing left of that head. Uh, CG, CG galore. Again, like I said, budget constraints. But then again, fucking Terrifier was budget was thirty grand, and everything on there was practical. So can't either that or they didn't. They didn't have a decent effects guy. Get out! Get out! Like, no, that is. Now we're doing. Now we're doing Amityville. Get out! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're they're doing a sin. I don't. I didn't want a sin for me. Like, don't remind me of movies that are better. I uh, I. Who the hell wrote this? Hang on, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Um, it was written by the guy who directed this. Well, I admire his ambition. I'll give him credit, and I do know that, like I said, I do know he's going to be involved in the other movies too. I know he directed the second one, and he, but I think somebody else wrote the first, the second one. I think it was yeah, Matt Leslie wrote the second one. He's going to be producing all the other ones I mentioned, but different people are directing it. However, he is going to be directing the uh, Puniverse one, which is coming out next year. Oh shit! Whoa! Now Pooh Bear is rocking. Look at the CGI <laughs> Oh my god! I forgot wait, about wait, that. Wait, wait, wait a minute! This, wait, this motherfucker's Candyman now. Like, where, where, why are there bees here? <laughs> well, why are there he... bees? <laughs> didn't wasn't there bees with him when he had honey in the cartoon? I think. I don't. <laughs> He's fucking Candyman all of a sudden. Wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 okay. So, so he, so what? His blood is honey, but he's Maybe. supposed to be a humanoid. Like what? Okay, all right, okay. Again, like I said, these guys were just throwing anything they could find and see what stuck. I guess clearly, like said, <laughs> this is the first time anybody's done anything like this with a with a well known character. I mean, turning. Someone in into a horror character. That's look, 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 listen, listen, listen. Okay, look, this movie is taking itself super serious. Like, like the the, like, the one thing I liked about Thanksgiving is that it didn't that, take itself seriously. Well, it it did it, but it only it only took itself serious towards like the third act of the film. I thought that was fine. Right. Exactly. Um. Um, but, but because like the first like hour, hour, it was that, you know, winking at the fans. Like it's one of those type of horror films, which is fine. Um, this year they're going full on serious. I'm sorry, but with a concept like Winnie the Pooh, like Can't you kind of got the, you kind of got the freedom to kind of be a little, uh, to be a little fun and ridiculous with it exactly but like terrifier terrifier is a great example of those movies that completely winks at the fan it doesn't take itself complete doesn't take himself serious at all exactly man i mean that that was the, that was one of the reasons why people love terrifier was because the film knew what it was and it wasn't going to take itself seriously but still do enough to, to, to satisfy they're going heart. like bro like they're actually like the acting they're actually trying here to act, which again I, I appreciate, but with the, the source material doesn't really require it. Yeah, and where the hell did that fucking 357 come from? Guns are hard to get in the UK, by the way, folks. They're not readily available like over there. 
I mean, look at the look at that fucking thing. You need a you need like a gun license, and you got to go through a whole bunch of um background screenings in order to get something like that over here. Oh boy, the swimming pool. Prowler, anybody? There's a lot of tropes in this movie I've I've been spotting. But again, I, I don't completely hate this movie. I mean, this movie still has some fucking cool moments, but there's a lot of tropes in this. And like you said, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying for at least two are lesbians or not. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder the same thing. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of these people that are on here, I'm guessing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa, shit. There's Piglet. Or was it Triple H with a sledgehammer? How convenient she fell in. Just saying. And he's moving really slow. Like, surely you can, like, make a break for it, right? Climb out of the pool or something? Why are you what? Okay, he's like a nun. <laughs> Why are you just sitting get, there? Just get out. What? Oh, my God. That's one of the things. That's just one of the things I found very wrong with this scene. She could have easily like got out and just ran for it, but no, nah, you're just standing Ooh. there. But what's he trying to do? Trying to whip her with that chain. I guess that didn't work. Get out of the pool, woman. Okay, he's going in mm -hmm. after her. Fair enough. Why are you standing there? Oh, he's chasing her. Yep. But like I said, she could have she could have been long gone already. Could have been long gone. Okay. What? 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 Wait a minute! What? What? Wow. What? You just clocked her in the face with a sledgehammer. But that was CG as hell. That's how slow she was moving. <laughs> Give me a break, bro. He still caught up to her. <laughs> He was slower than she. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but the, he was chasing her, and she was running away. And he still caught up to her. That was some. That was a video game. Like you're dead, shit, right there. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, like, couldn't she have just climbed out? Did she all of a sudden like lose the ability to do that? Oh, and when he hit her with that sledgehammer, oh, again, CGI galore. Yeah. Again, we, look at that hole in her face. Still, that's CG, but for fuck's sake. I mean, uh, the CG's good, but there's too much of it. And how did he get dry all of a sudden? Didn't he just, wasn't he in the pool like a few minutes ago? Oh, well, you know, oh, well, oh, well, you know, you know, you know, so it's a it, horror movie, you know. <laughs> That's the one thing that fucking annoys me about any movie, right? When you watch a movie where somebody's in a pool or whatever, and all of a sudden they're like miraculously dry all of a sudden, dude, it takes fucking hours to dry clothes like that. Trust me, I fell in the pool once before, I know. <laughs> this feels like a YouTube horror, like horror, like a YouTube short. Uh, like if this is like a thirty-minute like fan film, this is what this feels like. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up. See how the because I know they said they did the film in eight days. I'm just gonna look at the development of this a little more. Let me just check the film in here. All right, according to this, they say the filming was it doesn't say eight days on here. It's on the Wikipedia. It says the filming was done over a period of ten days. Um, after the increased popularity of the film, ITN gave the film an increased budget. So originally, originally this was gonna be some sort of a YouTube short. But because of the buzz it caused, they filmed a whole heap of additional scenes and made a movie out of it. Well, at least tried to. Again, yeah, like I said, loves, he loves himself some honey. Is that honey? Or is that something else? Oh, uh, what is it? It looks like, I'm not going to say what it is. It almost looks like a body fluid. That doesn't look like honey. Look at that shit. Oh shit. Looks like I'm not gonna say, but it starts with a word it starts with a C word. You know the one. <laughs> Man! Man, that better not be what it Man <laughs> I don't think it is, but it It better not be <laughs> Fuck This is a whole it. this is a whole other movie. It's a lot of bullshit. This is some bullshit. If, they, if it is, that is that be some nasty ass shit. If that is, <laughs> well, like I said, um, when we Man, get around now, the- I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that now. Like, ah, <laughs> that is on her face. Oh, she, you might be right. <laughs> I think she just got cummed on. Well, like I said, when, when we eventually get around to doing the sequel, hope because my friend did say there was improvements to the sequel. Kind of like it's kind of like the same thing we had with Terrifier. When you think about, it. I mean, the first movie we watched of that was kind of like, <laughs> oh, dude, come on! Why is he slapping her? I, I have no idea. <laughs> but he is bitch slapping her in the middle of the next week. But again, it's like I was saying, you know, it's the whole thing. Remember when the first Terrifier movie came out? They, they they tried to make do with what they had, but it wasn't until the sequel when things started to improve a little. I've kind of I'm kind of getting that that kind of situation with this one when you think about it. Man, they tied her up and okay. Oh, just like that, they untied her. Okay. <laughs> That was quick. Shouldn't it be like a, a trigger trap or something? You know, something saw related? It just seems too easy, doesn't it? Well, for folks who's just tuned in, Where's we are watching... Robin's bitch ass at? He's, he's disappeared greatly. He's just tied up. But uh, yeah, for folks who just tuned in, we are watching Weenie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. We are officially five minutes away from being one hour. There's That means we've got like 20-odd movie minutes left to go. So we're on the third act already. Is, this movie is short. <clears throat> yeah, it was blitzing by, wasn't it? I'm also running time for this anyway. So it's only 84 minutes, dude. And part two, what's the running time for part two? Hang on, let me see. <laughs> the running time for part two is 95. Well, there's Christopher Robin again. <clears throat> Who's playing Christopher Robin? Anyway, I'm going to find out who this is. Um... Oh, interesting. I didn't realize this. The guy playing as Christopher Robin, his name is Scott Chambers. Now, I'm looking at his credits right now, right? It turns out Scott Chambers is going to be the guy who is going to be uh, directing the third Winnie the Pooh movie that's coming out next year. That I did not realize he's also 
one of the producers of the um of the other two movies that's coming out later this year. So that so that's who that guy man, is here playing. Really, man, they are really jumping the shark. No, not jumping the shark. Just they're, they're, they're completely going one hundred percent serious with this. Like super, super serious. Why so serious? Who is this? I don't know. I don't know who she is. This is the first time I've seen her. A victim from a previous encounter, maybe? Uh, fuck if I know. I don't have a clue who she is. She just appeared out of nowhere. Well, you can tell she's been through in love. I mean, look at her eye and face. But yeah, I mean, but don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this movie to an extent, but it's being too serious for its own good. That's where the problem is for me here. Like she just said, Pooh and Piglet. Like, like you could have played into that. Like, like, like they don't. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. I was waiting till the movie ends. And we're we're gonna be dropping our thoughts on this later at at the end of this movie, folks. Don't worry. <clears throat> Again, like I said, I don't I don't completely hate this movie, but I can see some of the issues with this. Uh, wait, wait, they just saw something. What's going on? Yeah, I wouldn't be happy too if I saw what was left. What, what, how much they fucked me up. I'm not going to fuck out. <laughs> like, keep them out. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Lady, you need to really keep it down or you're going to attract the attention you don't want. She just snatched a gun. Again, I don't know who the hell she is. She, We just see her all tied up. She's appeared out of nowhere. I don't have a name. I'm looking at the credits right now. We, we do not have... I don't have a name here. I right, saw so this girl wants revenge. She just fired a shot. That was CG that gunfire, by the way. That was! Yeah. <laughs> that was! Oh, shit! Well, there's Piglet. We're about to get a fight? I guess so. Oh, dude! Even the fire is CG. Look at that! Look at the look at the embers. You could have easily created that with some practical. They couldn't afford fire. Oh no! They could afford fire. They just didn't have the the machine to create the embers like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Keep in mind, folks, this movie only had a budget of 50 grand, but then again, Terrifier had a budget of 30, so, you know. I think the budget for the yeah, first Terrifier... Yeah, cornered. Oh, you fucked. You could have just shot him. Why did you stand there? Wait, what, what, what did he just do? What, what, attack or pressure points? <laughs> I was about to say, was that the finger poke of doom then? How is he pouring on her? 
No, it looks like honey. The bees. Is that going to attract them? No, Piglet's just going to eat her face. <laughs> uh. All right, this <laughs> you could bar you could barely see that. <laughs> you I couldn't could, even right? see that. I know, and this movie's a fucking eighteen for a ow. Well, like a the face, damn. Ouch. Triple H would be proud. <clears throat> okay, that's real fire. Man, that shit was pointless. So we so we had this whole extra character just for her to die like that. That that shit was so pointless. We're gonna cut that shit out. That was such a throwaway character. That was such a that was a waste, man. That was that was a waste. You just they just I reckon they just added her just to, to increase the body count. That was it. That to add to the body count. Yeah. Oh, Piglet outside up. Yep. She did blast him in the oh. face with a hammer. Oh, okay. Damn. Like I said, all of this could have been avoided if Christopher Robin checked on him during his weekends or half-term break. None of this would have no. happened when you think about it. Sense, sense of ass animals. <laughs> I know, right? But I'm just, just think about it. This is how it all started. It's Christopher's fault when you think about it. Oh, shit. Right in the face. Ow. He took it like a champ, though. Taking it like a champ. <laughs> you just took the hell of a hit. <laughs> yep, he sure did. Man, Piglet just got Negan. That was definitely that. That was one of the one of the most part one of the greatest episode. One of the great nights of TV of all time when um, Negan oh. killed Glenn and Abraham. Oh, dude, I remember watching it. How, did not see you? <laughs> How could you? How did he get that so fast? Uh, does he have Jason's teleporting abilities? And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit. She is eating a machete. But we literally just saw him run, and then two seconds later, he's back. Uh, that was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, you Dude, how you? He didn't even see that after effect. You know, how he runs is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's running like I'm just huddling over. <laughs> oh, bubba. But yeah, that 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 scene on The Walking Dead, man. <laughs> Look at the way he's running. Are you swinging that hammer like nobody's business as well? <laughs> Who the fuck's this in the car right now? I've forgotten that. Wait, isn't that those two at the gas station? Man, I thought that was Alice Cooper in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might... That could have been, yeah. They wouldn't have been able to afford him, but still. Yes, even in the UK, we do have our redneck types over here. Up in the Yorkshire area. Uh, 
Are you sure you want to take this dude on? Man, they are not. Okay, all right. <laughs> They're not what? Man, 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 I thought they're about to go into the, about to go into the, a direction that I've seen before, and I'm like, man, what the whole evil dies tonight thing? Well, guess what? They are! Oh <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Another trope this time from hell. They're doing. They're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pool dies tonight? No! James pool gonna, dies tonight! James is going to be sick, guys. <laughs> he started like fucking Jason from Friday the 13th Part 6. You notice that, too? That camera shot was definitely a nod to that. Oh, my God. They really doing this. Yeah, they're doing this. They are really... They're really doing Halloween kills. Yeah, they're doing it. <laughs> they were surrounding them like they did, Mike. <laughs> How will he fare this time round, though? Oh, boy. Let me guess. Gonna, let me guess. Let me guess. They're going to beat him down, and then they're going to fuck around, not finish the job. <laughs> well, that, that's what's going to happen, right? If it plays out exactly like that movie, man, up. Oh, well, here we go. Oh well, he just completely no sold that. Hit him. The fuck y'all waiting for? Stop talking hit shit. Him. Just fucking hit him. Come on, you got <laughs> weapon. <laughs> We're really recreating Halloween kills. Yes, we are. <clears throat> this on, then, is fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, I forgot about this scenes as well. Yeah, they're really doing it. They are really doing it. Yep. Do not adjust your set, folks. This is not Halloween Kills. This is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh, come on. Really? Really? And now he's about to fuck him up, right? Listen, when he gets so good, listen, listen, when he gets so goddamn tall. Uh, I don't know. He's that he's that much bigger. How the hell did oh took half his face out? That's a hell of a slap there. <laughs> Bitch slap from hell, right? <laughs> No, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Get his ass whooped. Or, you know, the mic would they fuck around and yeah. <laughs> this is this, this, this is Halloween kills to a T. This is definitely a nod to that. Yeah. Where did the bees come from? He just, he just, he just ordered the bees awesome. to chase the dude that was running. Where do they go? <laughs> He's Candyman all of a sudden. Well, they ran him over. Are we doing Halloween 4 now? <laughs> Think about it. A pickup truck? <laughs> uh, guys, I can only imagine what's going through James's head. Halloween 4 is one of his favorite sequels in that series, just so you know.
He's gonna get on top of the truck. Bro. All right. He's gonna get on top of the truck. He's gonna bang his hand through the through, through the window. Bang his head on on the windshield. How, how are we doing this? Let's find out. <clears throat> Hey, slam on the brake. That'll yank him off. Hit the brakes, man. That car's not even driving. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. That's a studio. Well, he's at the windscreen. You gonna bash your head on it? Wait, right about the bit with the brakes. Wait, what the fuck? He got him. Well, she must have knocked herself out when she slammed the brakes. She hit her face on the windscreen on the steering wheel. And that's why you put on. Okay. They didn't think about it at the time. And now she's about to get fucking destroyed. What? 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 Yo, we didn't even see him do it. <laughs> wow, that was quick. And the head looked so fake. Oh. No, but he literally dragged her away, and then the camera cut, and then we got, and then we got to the after effect of ripping her head off. Like, no, dude, that's not a bad shot, but dude, like, we didn't even see her head getting torn off. Like, man. Well, luckily, the sequel is an improvement from what I've been told. Where the fuck is Christopher Robin in all this? I know they said he was still back there, but they untied him, but... I think you were right about her being the final girl, too. Or was it the other one you said? Finally! Finally! Jesus! Oh, Chris got some balls. I don't know if you noticed, but when you saw her laying down, that was a still shot with the smoke. Clearly that was. I, yeah, I tried to ignore <laughs> that, but I'm just I'm just like y'all man, y'all man, Jesus. <laughs> oh man. All right, Chris, what are you gonna do? Take an axe and chop his head off. Yeah, well, that's if he's got an axe. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> nah. Now the car's on fire. And like I said, this guy here playing Chris, he's one of the producers of this of this old franchise they're putting together. Well. What are you going to do, Chris? Dead my ass. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I thought. Dude, he just pushed that car away like it was enough. 
Are you serious? He pushed that shit away. Wait, his blood's white? Well, there's where most of the budget went on that explosion. And he's... Oh, he's got her. Chris is asking him, why are you doing this? It's pretty obvious why he's doing it. None of this would have happened if you checked up on him during your weekend and holiday breaks. Oh, you still think there's still good left in them? Yeah, good luck with that explanation. He's trying to reason with him. Good luck with that. Oh. Well, damn. And you heard what he said. You, you left. left. Ain't that a bitch. She didn't deserve that, dude. She didn't deserve that at all. Forget it, Chris. There ain't no saving this one. And again, it's all your fault. You should have you should have checked on him. That's what it ultimately comes down to, dude. When you think about it, I've been saying it throughout this whole film. All this shit could have been avoided if Chris fucking checked back on him. That's the whole reason when you think about it. It's his fault. I'm standing there like Michael Myers. It's time for you to go, Chris. And he's still stabbing her. Ooh, okay, that was for the head. That's done. This is clearly a sequel bait ending, and we know there's a sequel coming because one of my friends has already seen the part two. That's it? That's it. Like I said, opened ended for part two. <clears throat> and there you go. Go ahead and give your thoughts, Paul. Well, um, like I said, I when I first heard about this movie, I was curious in checking it out. And um, you know, that morbid curiosity wanted me to see me. I mean, on paper, the idea sounds good, but again, the problems with this movie, here's the thing. I don't completely hate this movie. There were some bits in this where I'm just like, you know what? That's actually not too bad. But the tropes that were on this movie was, it was plain as day. I mean, like the whole thing with the Halloween kills reference we had going on there and some of the other references that was going on in this movie, with the tropes and everything like that. It was like, it was like, um, they were throwing ideas on the wall and seeing what would stick. Now, understandably, so, I mean, this movie did have a budget of 50 grand and they wasn't sure if this movie was going to be a hit or not. Now critics have said that, you know, this movie didn't 
do very well. I mean, people questioned the script and some of the acting in this. Understandable. But the movie went on to make $5 million, So it, either way, the movie did garner the kind of success it was looking for. Now, um, the sequel, like I said, my friends have seen, one of my friends has seen it, and they did say the sequel was an improvement over this one. So it's like, on this one, they wasn't too sure what they were doing. It was it was a case of seeing what stuck and seeing what didn't. So it was kind of like a it was kind of like a a hit and miss in a way, you know. And it, and again, you could say the same thing with the um the Terrifier films. I mean, James, you remember when we saw the first Terrifier movie? I mean, like there was moments on there where we were kind of like, okay, that worked, and then some parts it didn't work. And then when the sequel rolled around, they did make tons of improvements on that on that second film so i'm guessing that's what's going to happen when with part two when we get around to eventually watching it but this movie again i don't completely hate it but there are definitely issues that you could see on this film that was clearly there i mean the, the cg was a bit too much but again i guess that's because of budget reasons but then again you can't justify that when you look at terrifier and that's budget was less than this one and Everything on there was pretty much old school practical. So you can't kind of hold that argument on there. But um, I do feel like I'm hoping they can improve in future installments. This one, it was a case of some of it worked and some of it didn't. The tropes and the references we saw in this one was, I guess you could say, a little too much and it was clearly evidently when you heard myself and james's reaction to some of the scenes that went down in this but um you know for better or for worse they did what they had they did what they could and some of it worked and some of it didn't so hopefully whatever they felt didn't work hopefully they don't make that same mistake and they it improves as we go further into this. So I am I am curious to see what happens next. But they have to I guess you could say they're gonna have to go some in order to um convince me that they made a solid effort with the next one. So this one, I again, like I said, this one I'm not defending it. I'm just dropping my thoughts on this. Could have been done better if they had a bit more time to work on it. I mean, think about this, man. This, this movie was done in, like, what, 10 days? So this was, like, a very, very rushed, in my opinion. And they could have done they could have done things differently if they had more time to work on it. So, yeah. But all in all, um, it was okay. But not something that you would say like would be like epic or anything like that. So I'm going to give it, I think seven's too high. So I'm going to give it maybe f six, maybe five and a half out of 10. And I'm hoping they make some improvements in the next ones. So yeah, there you go. All right, James, I'm all ears. Let's hear it. Well, um, I will say uh, congrats on the people uh, that took this property. Uh, um, they uh, they took they took the Pooh property, made money, and ran, and uh, now they are making other films. Um, I guess they knew people would want to come see this out of your morbid curiosity. Yeah. And um, and it was success on their part. Uh, I liked some of the cinematography on certain shots. Um, yeah, so some some of the you know, cinematography was um, was good. Yeah. Um, but. Um, all in all, sloppy, dusty, soft. <laughs> yep, yep. I know. Again, slightly like up and down. No, 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 no. 
slightly appalled, disgusted. Story not there. Characters yep. non-existent. The score didn't even notice. Look, <laughs> I didn't notice it either. Look, you could go so many ways, fun and creative ways. You could go with this property. It's Winnie the Pooh. You could get wild and wacky and crazy as you like. The reason why people love the Terrifier films, you know, is because they're not afraid to go super ridiculous overboard, okay? Yeah. They're not afraid, okay? And it doesn't take itself so serious. This will be like going into this film, I was expecting even if even if, even uh it's so bad, it's good. Yeah. I didn't even get that. Look, the, the gore in this film. It was hit and miss. It, it, it doesn't even it, it, it doesn't fuck with terrifier at no, all. Like no way. Like the one unique kill in this film was the car. You know, slowly running over that girl's head, but that looked ridiculous with the CGI blood. And again, I understand, you know, low budget, but like we just said, Terrifier had a cheaper budget and it looks way more practical than the shit we got now. They were just being lazy, okay? Uh, everything about this was lazy. The characters, I did, I'm sorry, I, I didn't go fuck about. I didn't go fuck about any of these four women. I'm sorry, I didn't. Yeah, but any of them, man. Like, mo like I said, a lot of people said when, when, when the reviews of this came out, a lot of people said that the acting and the script was almost non-existent and the poor dialogue and the lack of humor and, you know, Basically, stuff like that. No that was, humor. There's yeah, no humor. There was little to no humor on this, man. I mean, okay, like some of the kills were all right, but again, they played, like you were saying, they played this way too seriously. And that's the problem with this one is that they played this film way too seriously. And that, which is something that I guess for a first try, you, you dropped the ball on that one. Also, 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 um, the look of uh, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. Uh, like I said, um, uh, I, I, I was not a fan of their look, okay? Again, they look like two fucking lumberjacks um, that went to Spirit Halloween and put mask on, and there you go. Okay, I did not like that at all. Um, I'm gonna uh, what? Look at what? The image. I'm going to have a look at the image and see what they look like in the sequel. I'm going to go on the IMDb, and I'm going to see what they look like in the second one. Give me a minute. We ain't talking about the sequel now. <laughs> I know. But I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna have a look anyway. I wanna. I wanna. Okay. I wanna see All right. The, I wanna you see do the that. difference. You do that. Listen. Them. Listen. This shit is a cash grab. This, this is what? a cash grab. It's like, 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 like. You don't need to go out of your way, but because of the viral, the volley behind this film and the ridiculous concept, it managed to catch actually get released. Look, it made five million. Made five million dollars. But the making this film. Made more fifty times their budget on the movie. That's a glorified meme. Something Megan, you know, something like so. Let's say she is Megan. Like this is just a meme. Look, yeah. you you I'm really. <laughs> It doesn't use it doesn't use a classic character to its full potential. Okay, it it like I was intrigued with. I was intrigued with the animation portion. Yeah. Of um of the movie, but that's as far as it goes. Like it turns to a stereotypical slasher film. It it didn't it didn't explore the Lord now. Okay, they may do it in the sequel. Fuck, we're not talking about the sequel. We're talking about this movie right yeah, here. Yeah. And and it doesn't do that. Okay, it this movie was clearly set up, like I said, for people to take the money and run. Yeah, that's it. Like this was a like like you said like you were saying this was a cash grab. The fact that the, this film was done in ten days, like again, like I said, if they had more time, if they spent more time to work on it, we would have been we would have a whole different expectation after watching it. It was rushed. 
clearly it was rushed and that's again that's one of the things that hurts this movie greatly is the fact that they rushed this shit well well not just that there's no imagination there's no creativeness there's i mean it it just just everything it, it just goes to show it, it just goes to show you can make millions of dollars when you're being super Super fucking lazy. Look, oh, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this movie does not deserve to make money. Does not deserve to make money. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm just keeping it real. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate this fucking movie. I hate it. Okay. I'm, I'm That's gonna hold up to this. Okay? Again, I hate me, this like, film. It's just that this movie again. This movie could have been so much better if they had the if they spent more time on it. And this movie just, you know, it was a again, a misfire. They dropped the ball here. <laughs> they Man, fucking they, 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 the new, the new, the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh was scarier than this fucking movie. Okay, it wasn't yeah, scary. Yeah. It Remember was that? not scary, okay. <laughs> like, you know, like it wasn't. I, I thought, I thought the look of Wimp who was super fucking lazy. Yeah. It was just a lazy effort. At least with Terrifier, there was some fucking effort to it. They yeah. were actually trying with it. This was just a simple cash grab, running off the backs of a of a childhood property. That's all this was, man. Look, look. Man, you, you talk about scary this movie. You're fuck about scary. this movie. Go ahead, Paul. I was gonna say you're talking about scary episodes from that Winnie the Pooh cartoon series. There's one that I remember distinctly, and that's that. You, you remember that one where um they go under the bed and you got that like sludge monster thing over there that one of the things dirty. Remember that shit? Yes, man, that was that was creepy as shit, man. When I saw that, I was expecting something like that with this one. We were just like. Wait, what are we doing right now? There's not one scary moment or one suspenseful moment in this movie. And it took itself and the, too seriously. And if you think, and if you if you're coming into this with for looking for looking for you know breasts, okay, you get a flash of it. Okay, whatever. And the gore is not anything to run home about. Uh, like, like like even if you don't watch a movie. Even if you watch a horror film just for the kills, this ain't it, okay? Um, it, no. uh, like I, said, I don't like nobody in this film. The gores, I, 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 um, you know what? What is the pool bag of money? Not blood of honey. This bag of money. That's what the shit is. Um, <laughs> that's that, that's all. That's what they grab. They grab a bag of money. Oh man. <laughs> I just yeah. I mean, sucks. Like... This movie sucks. Um, yep. And uh, and 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 Paul, I know you probably gonna recommend the sequel, but I'm gonna tell you something right now. Um, oh, you know we're gonna be doing it at some point, but I know our expectations. Well, guess what? Well, guess hard. what? When we do it, uh, I'm I'm gonna walk in it with very low expectations. Okay, look, I, I look. If we didn't do this show, uh, I will only see this. I would never see this movie again. And I would have no interest to see uh, the sequel. I don't have any interest in seeing the other films. I'm sorry. Like, listen, just take the money and run. Don't make any more goddamn movies. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Paul, is there anything else you want to add? Um. Well, I will say I was. Kind Christopher of Robin was a bitch. I forgot he was a bitch. He was a bitch about the whole bitch. film. Um, I, um, I said um, it uh, numerous times when we were watching it. I said he was acting like a bitch in this one. And like I said, the whole it was, the, the last thing we see him do, the last thing we see him do is run away, run away, crying like a bitch. Like you know what, man? But like, is, 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 is he back for the is he back for the sequel? I bet he is, ain't he? It's a different person playing him, but yeah, he's in the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm only I'm only going by what my friend told me right now. I will before before I'm just gonna deep dive a little bit into the sequel. And listen to this. Now the Rotten Tomato score for this one was three percent. I knew I was taking a risk when I was picking this one. But anyway, if I jump into part two, here's this what they said about... Have a cult. This movie doesn't have... This, this, this doesn't even have a cult following? Yes, it does. There are some people out there that don't mind this. But listen... No. But anyway, here's what they said about part two. I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to go what they said here. Now, part two has a 52% approval. 
Some people say it is a, an improvement over the original in most aspects. So one person, one, one critic here said it was like a punk rock movie, a middle finger to the mainstream, which I'll give them credit for. Okay, cool. However, after seeing the first one, and I know my friend went and seen it and said, okay, it is an improvement, but just like you, man, I'm kind of like, either this is going to address some issues or we're going to have something where we're just going to be like, you know what? But uh, either way, um, they're going to have to seriously go some to try and win us over. Because it was, just, it was filmed like it was straight out of a sci-fi film. It was straight out of a sci-fi yeah, channel. Okay. And those sci-fi channel and those sci-fi movie channels. Those sci-fi movies on sci-fi channel are garbage. You could put this on sci-fi, it would it would it would literally fit right along. Um I I, I do not see Winnie the Pooh. People ask me about horror movie legends. I do not see Winnie the Pooh. Uh, anywhere near, not even touching uh, Art the Clown territory no. um, with this. Um, um, this movie was going to, this movie, when this movie dropped, it was here today, gone tomorrow. Nobody talked about it. There was no buzz around it, nothing. Um, yeah. Now it's, uh, it's, this movie's ass. This movie's ass, yeah. man. It's ass. And now, and now somehow we're going to have like a whole multiverse coming out. <sighs> Well, like this, said, this, this, this is off to a bad start. Terrible yeah, start. This, this, this is not a good start. You're gonna like again to the filmmakers. You you're gonna have to seriously go some with this sequel. Yes, I did see the trailer for part two. Looks all right, but again, looks don't count for shit. I want to. You see... really have hope for the sequel, don't you? Because you keep mentioning the sequel. <laughs> Well, listen, one of my friends has seen it. Now, listen, this is the same thing that kind of happened with Terrifier. Think about it. The first one... But Terrifier was fun! <laughs> yes, it was. It was fun. Terrifier did have its issues, and they addressed the improvements when the sequel came along. This one, like, again, like you were saying, it took itself seriously for its own good. That's that's a big, like, what the fuck? Oh, seriously? Yeah. But... Like again, like I said, there were some bits where I'm like, oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. But everything else about it, I'm just like, yo, okay. And again, like I said, it was Christopher Robin's fault. All of this could have been avoided if you checked on him when you think about it. But all in all, man, just again, if I feel that they should have had more time to work on it. I mean, 10 days to, to film a film? Come on, bro. Like, what do you what do you expect to what do you expect to make out of it in in, in a ten day film shoot like fuck dude Look, I don't want to talk about this no more okay this movie's ass okay but something I do want to talk about uh, right. something I'm actually interested in something I'm actually uh, Paul you showed me this and um, I'm like let's fucking go apparently it follows it's gonna have a sequel and it's filming this year. Yes, that is true, guys. We are going to have a sequel to It Follows. The sequel is going to be called They Follow. Um, I think the, the the guy who directed the original, he's back on board. Yep, and, yep, yep, um, yep, 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 yep. And um, and I think I think Marika Marika Monroe, something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, the girl back. from the first film, she's coming back. Yep. Let me see if there's a release date on this. I'm going to go and do some digging. Give me a second here, boys and girls. And there's some other bits of news I posted up on your chat box as well. We can dive into those too while I try and find info on this day follows. Um, here we go. Oh, shit, I went past it. They follow. This is what the new one's going to be called. It's Yes, it's got uh, Mika Monroe in it. It's being directed once again by David Robert Mitchell. The movie is in pre-production right now as we speak. I don't know any more than that. But it's been 10 years since the last movie. A decade. Now they were I'm really, new. really and I'm really uh, and I'm really oh okay, because y'all know me. I'm the type of guy, you know, it doesn't need a sequel. Um, but with this, I really enjoyed the first film. We did a we did an episode on it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed the concept of it, the idea of it. And um and, and if it's the same director and saying and and, and and the girls coming back, I'm all for it. I'm very uh, interested to see how they expand on it. How has the girl been able um 
to survive last 10 years. Because last time we checked, her and um Paul, Paul um was walking down the street um holding hands and it looked like a figure was following them. It could have been the entity or it could have been just a random person. We don't know. Um, so it will be nice to see how they've been able to um to survive that long because you need to have sex with multiple people to pass it along. So um exactly. I really enjoyed the concept and um I enjoy it, Falls. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Like, like I don't, I don't say that much, but I'm looking we forward to got, it. We also got a smile sequel coming out this year too. Uh, I did. I heard about that. Uh, where apparently uh, it's going to be about a, a pop singer, right? Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, we haven't we haven't, we haven't done a watch along of Smile just yet. But I remember when I saw the movie, and I told I have told James this on and off the air. Smile is one of them few movies that really did fuck with me. Like it, it creeped me out because I knew what the message was. I knew where they were going at. You know the whole thing with mental health and depression, trauma. And yeah. Yes, and I'm, I am, I've said it numerous times. I am someone who suffers from depression. I am someone who has almost checked out more than once when when shit has got to me. So that's why this movie creeped me the fuck out. I do love the horror concept, but the message, what, 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 what was going on in the movie, is what creeped me out about it. Because it's kind of something that well, I can relate to. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, for me, when it came to Smile, um, I didn't really have any hope for the film. I thought the marketing of, w w was fantastic. You know, at, at the sports event, with the random people smiling, creeping at the camera. Yeah. I, thought that was, I thought that was very unique. Um, had some good mood, had some good atmosphere. Um, I thought Kevin Bacon's daughter was fantastic. In the role, um, yeah, it, it, it was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I had to give it credit; it was pretty good. And also, the movie went on to make two hundred million unexpectedly. Like, well, I mean, well, well, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, I just, I just want the people to clarify. Okay, all right. When people make when movies make a lot of money in the box office, it doesn't mean the movie's good. It means a lot of people want to go see it. Okay, yeah. so let's uh, yeah, like let, 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 let's clarify for people in the chat, okay? Because people like to throw that at me. Oh, what is movie made such and such? I'm like, don't mean it's good. It's mean a lot of people want to go see it. That that that's all that means. <laughs> it's actually yeah. I mean, like, look at some of the movies that made a lot of money but ended up being ass, and then you got some movies that that never expected to make that much money, and they did. We can name a few. We already did earlier, but you know. But um, and also um. I saw this on Bloody Discussion, but I can't get my link to open. But there's been talks about a new version of The Thing, which is based on a long-lost original novel adaptation. And Carpenter's involved in this. Listen, this bit. Okay. All right. Good. Is Kurt Russell involved? I've been hearing a lot of talk about this. There's, there's a couple of directions they're going to go with this. One of the things I've been hearing is that they want to do a direct sequel to Carpenter's thing. And there has been talks of okay. Russell being involved in it. I've heard one of them talks. One of the other talks I've been hearing yeah. is that that video game, you remember that video game that came out years ago on the PS2? Yeah! They could go that route. We, I don't know where they're going, but I do. But one of the things I've been hearing a lot is that it's going to be based on the original long lost novel. Where they're gonna go with that, I don't fucking know. But I know Blumhouse wants to do it. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. Well, Carpenter's got a partnership with him, Anthony, so of course he does. Listen, look, look, I don't care. Listen, I just want John Carpenter and Kurt Russell uh one last movie together, and yeah. then um and if, if, if that happens, I'll consider watching it. Um, but other than that, fuck it. Just <laughs> keep, just all I'll say is just keep David Gordon Green away from it. He better not go near that fucking project. I swear to God. He fucking better not, man, because I will fucking rip it a new ass. I'm not even kidding. And then, of course, I heard something about a faculty remake. I'm like, what? <sighs> you, what's next? You, well, what's next? What's next? I don't even want to talk about it. What's next? <laughs> uh, well, we know we got Running Man coming. Edgar Wright's directing it, and Glenn Powell is going to be Ben Richards. And if anybody doesn't know who Glenn Powell is, he's going to be in that in that Twister sequel. He's that tornado wrangler dude. 
Interesting, interesting. Uh, uh, I saw the trailer of, uh, uh, speaking of back to Josh Hartnett with M. Night Shyamalan on Trap. I saw the trailer of that. I haven't seen that yet. What's that like? Uh, it looks like, um, well, one, it, uh, one, I, I kind of got some apprehension because it is M. Night Shyamalan and I, for the most part, hate his fucking movies. Um, yeah. But apparently it's about Josh Hartnett um, taking his daughter to a concert. When, but it looks like he also may be a serial killer and he may or may not be killing people in the concert. Um, it looks interesting. And and we, I was just saying, you know, it's nice to kind of see Josh Hartnett back out there again. Um, so um, it looks interesting. I just don't trust M. Night Shyamalan. I hate his movies. I never, I always thought Success was overrated. Yeah, I always, I always thought, I thought the village sucked. I thought yep. After Earth sucked. Yep. Um, the visit, don't even get me started on that bullshit. Um, the happening. The ha oh, the hat. What? No. no I, I thought worst Mark Wahlberg performance ever. <laughs> um, um, Unbreakable last split. Okay, uh, okay. I did like Unbreakable. I did like Unbreakable. Mm -hmm. That might be the only in my movie I actually like. Um, one of the films I saw recently that I liked was the one that had Batista in it, Knock at the Cabin. I thought that was okay. Never seen. I I, I heard Batista gives a great performance. He um, does. He but was, he I was, just he was good in that film. He was pretty good. I just don't like M. Night Shyamalan in his movies. I, I really don't see why this motherfucker keeps directing films. I don't lady get why water, him. That, that Lady in the Water movie, that movie was shit. Like, I kind of I, I kind of feel that way about Mark Wahlberg sometimes. It's like, yo, how the fuck are you getting... <laughs> I know, I'm right? Sorry. I know. I, I'm sorry. Look, I know. I, I know people like Mark Wahlberg, but me, I've always kind of had this thing with Mark Wahlberg. I'm just like, yeah, he's a good actor, but I don't say, how are you getting all these roles? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. And I mean, yeah, you're good, but you ain't that damn good. Like Jesus Christ! Like everywhere you turn, Mark Wahlberg's in a new movie every year. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, dude, I remember in the early 2000s, he was in practically every fucking film. Oh, the early advertised. 2000s. Oh, my God, bro. You know, Three Kings, Perfect Storm, um, the remake of The Italian Job, you know, films like that, uh, Pain and Gain, you know, films like that, man. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like, dude, like, 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 okay, like, you're, oh, you're good, but, my like, God, you're getting, like, more movies Ed. than fucking Denzel Washington. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even in films like Ted, I mean, I like the Ted movies. I thought they were funny. Um, now, the movies where Mark Wahlberg is a straight asshole, uh, those are fine because I can like, believe that's Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah, like on that movie, um, The Departed. Departed, uh, Pain and Gain. Yeah. Um, his best performance to me is uh, Fear. What about What about Boogie Nights? Okay, he was good in Boogie Nights. I'll give him Boogie Nights. He was good in that. Not <laughs> saying, okay, I'm not saying that he doesn't have a good performance or two. I'm just kind of like, you know, with him, it's just like so overexposed. It's like, like I said, in that early to mid 2000s, it's like, it's like, why, why, why him? You know? But know. oh, and four brothers. I, I, okay, he all right, he was good in four brothers. Okay, I, he he was good in four brothers. See, I like some Mark Wahlberg movies, which is too yeah. much. And don't forget, but, he, was in, he was in uh, Transformers: Age of Extinction and uh, Last Night. Oh, the shitty era of the Transformers films. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those ones. I happen to have those too. I haven't got Bumblebee in the recent one that just came out yet. I ain't got those yet. And there's a there's a CG animated one coming out called Year One, I think, coming out in October. There's that one dropping. Oh, hang on, I got something here. Got some General Ortega news. I don't know if you caught this, but uh, she is what? out of Wednesday, 
and the reason why she's out of Wednesday. Wait, 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 Because her co-star, who she's friends with, got fired. She said, right, fuck you, I'm out. She did a Melissa Barrera. Those two were alike. Who, 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 who do they fire? One of the co-stars. I'm trying. I'm going to read who. Hang on. Which one? I'm going to find out. I ain't seen the show for a while. I think it was... Hang on. There's a lot... Come on, article. Get to the point. Are you sure... Cause are, are you sure that's real? Cause I, this is the, this is the first. Is I'm completely out of the loop. The link. This is the first the I heard of this. I'll give you the link. There you go. It's right there in your chat box. This will be all over the internet right now. Well, this was posted on the seventeenth. Apparently, this seems legit. So if Jenna's leaving. You might as well just stop the fucking show. Yeah, because of a co-star that she's probably friends with got fired. I think it was, I think it was Millie Brown or Millie Bobby Brown has built up a resume since Stranger Things. Oh, that's why that one got taken out, and then that was just like, all right, I'm out. See ya. Jeez, Millie Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown's on the show. I think so, but that's what's um, that's what I'm reading. I don't remember Billy Bob Brown. I don't remember Billy Bob Brown being on Wednesday. I don't know, but it says it is one of the co-stars that got fired is the reason why she's just told Netflix, fuck you, I'm out. Deuce. Okay, they, they, they just they just say it because they, they don't say it's the person's name. Because one of the co-stars, yeah. That's what I'm 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 trying to find. I, I don't know, bro. I, I, I don't know about this one, bro. I don't know about this I'm, one. <laughs> A they will tell you who it was. Hang on. Right. Percy Haynes White has purportedly been removed from the cast of the second season of Wednesday. Oh! Him! Oh! And because, oh. He got, and because that person's out, General Ortega said, right, fuck you, I'm out. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I was thinking it was probably I just okay. Yeah, I, I I did hear that the guy has some. Um, uh, I did hear that that dude apparently has some um some uh, S A allegations on him. Yeah, nine months ago, according to this. Yeah, I had some S A allegations on him, and apparently they fired him. Um, yep. and then that's when she just said, "I'm out." That's why. She's leaving. Yeah, she just said, "I'm out, Deuce." Uh, 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 I don't know about that, Jenna. I, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Look, I understand being loyal to your friends and all that stuff, but 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 don't 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 fuck up your money at the same time. Well, he says here that he's been denying these allegations, describing it as a campaign of misinformation. Well, of course. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> Exactly right. Uh, well, speaking of, course, of, course, of course, die. What else are you gonna do? I know, right? I mean, but again, it's like you, you, you're gonna you're gonna give away a role that you're gonna leave a role that you've been that's that got you a lot of that you that, that, that you're known at that you're known for more than yeah. screen. Yeah, and you're gonna say right, I'm out because of that. Okay, we know she's gonna be in the Beetlejuice sequel, but still, like. I mean, I mean, Jenna's going to be fine regardless. I mean, she's too talented to not be. But I, I just, I, I just, uh, I, I just don't agree. Yeah, I just don't agree with her. Again, and, and that's why, and I think that's the reason why she left Scream. Look, they, they claim it was because, you know, what they say, um, it was because it was going to be at the same time uh Screen of uh, Wednesday was going to be filming. I call bullshit on that. Um, she left her, her, her left. That's the reason. I think I personally think when she heard Melissa left, that that made her leave. Um, and now she's doing the same thing with Wednesday. Um, not uh, Jenna, baby girl. Okay. Um, uh, you 
listen, I understand again being loyal. It's great. It's a great attribute to have. Um, but yeah, I'm saying this is a business at the end of the day. You can't be so sensitive and so loyal that it fucks up your money. Okay, I'm just I'm just leaving at that. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of Melissa Barrera, she's in another movie that I just saw a trailer to a couple. Abigail. Of yeah, I seen the trailer yeah. to that this morning. That actually looks all right. I mean, you kidnap somebody, and it turns out she's a fucking vampire. Okay. Well, 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 well. The, the radio silence is behind it, and um, oh, there you um, go. yeah, radio silence is behind it. Melissa Barrera is the lead. Is she's the lead in the movie? Um, and then the trailer does look good. I will say that. Yeah, it just came out in the. I think it's, out, I think it's out this weekend. I think I don't, I'm not sure. It came out today. It came out today. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> so I'll probably I'll probably go see that when I'm when I'm back in the UK. I'll probably see it then. I mean, it's only just been released, so I've got. I mean, I just I just came back last week from seeing Civil War, so. So I I got some time. Once again, um, I just want to say one thing. Oh, I just want to speak of Civil War. Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst is a dumbass. All right. She's a straight up dumbass. All right. All right. What does she do now? We talked about this last week. You know, like, like I just don't understand why I didn't get paid. Why I didn't get paid to send a mouse to oh. the wire, dude? Because it's called Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. That you one. That dumb, one. You dumb. You dumb. Can't say that, but you know we know where you're going. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, like, you're not the, oh, you're one of the main characters, but you're not the main character. People are going to see Spider Man. That's it. It'd be the same if, like, if you're gonna fucking, um, if you're gonna say like, if MJ was the main character and it wasn't Spider Man, okay, fine, but that's not what it's about, man. Imagine Linda Hamilton. Imagine Linda Hamilton demanding she gets the same amount of money as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator. They would love. We love Sarah Connor. Connor. We love Sarah Connor. You ain't getting. But we're Ripley there to see money. Arnold. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're not getting Ripley money. I'll tell you that now. Oh, and, anybody, shit. and if anybody's wondering what I mean by Ripley money, just watch the Alien films. You know, and uh, oh, and were, I think we talked about this off the air, but we didn't mention it on the air. The um, the new Ninja Turtles movie that's coming out, which is going to be R rated, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that last week. Yeah, but for anybody who never caught it, you know, it's like it's going to be based on the last Ronin comic. I'm actually looking forward to seeing this. I've read the book, so I know how it goes. So I'm looking forward to it, but um. Yeah, there's um bits of other news, but we'll probably get more of this as the year goes on. But that's just some of the ones we got so far, folks. Uh, yeah, but the biggest thing I'm looking forward to, yeah, again, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to it follows, uh, the sequel, you know, um, and uh, Jennifer Taylor leaving Wednesday. I, uh, I I don't I don't know about that. I don't think that's a smart yeah. idea. On your part, Jenna, but okay. Bad idea. Um, I think when it comes to horror movies for me this year, the one I'm looking forward to, well, it's obvious, isn't it? Terrifier 3. I can't wait for that. Yeah, a lot of people can't wait for that. That is um, that is, that is going to be huge, bro. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. But, you know, um, I mean, they're giving it cinema releases here in the UK at last, and you're going to get a big cinema run over there too. But yeah, but again, you, again, you just never know. You never know. Oh, yeah. They could fuck up something. They could. You, you, you never know. All right. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna have to sit back and find out, I guess. Yeah. Um, I should smack about the cold. All right. Uh, so, um, uh, fuck Winnie the Pooh. Uh, but um, you're off to a bad is, start, um, folks. Yes. Um, so next week uh, we're gonna. Cl I'm gonna cleanse this channel of the filth that was this film. Uh, neck. Uh, uh, not next week, uh, but uh, in two weeks from now, um, <laughs> we uh, are going uh, to watch. Uh, uh, for a reminder for the people uh, that were here not here last week, um, uh, my opinion. Um, one of the more Probably the most underrated film in the franchise, um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Part Two. 
uh, Freddy's Revenge for episode 86 of the Gore Hound Show. All right. Well, for episode 87, I'm just going to check my my list a minute because I might have to switch it around. I was thinking of another slasher movie but that's on Netflix, which I've not even watched myself. Man, you was about to do, you, you was about to do it through part two, weren't you? No, that's not out yet. That's okay, not- all right, okay, all right, all right. That's not going to be on Blu-ray. Well, you, you, you was waiting on my reaction, and you heard my You're like, oh, well, I gotta switch this around. <laughs> No, no. If we're gonna do a Winnie the Pooh sequel, that's gonna be when I get it on Blu-ray. So I'm guessing probably July. Okay. Probably. All right. All be, right. Be a couple months before we get around to that one. But um, I was thinking Phantasm Four, but I want I want to try and get this other slasher movie out of my system, which I have here. Now, this one I've not watched myself yet, and I I came across this just now on Netflix, and I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna add it okay. to my planner. So we're going to be diving into a Netflix movie. Let me just get the name of it, make sure I got this right, and I'm going to put this in my planner. Uh, but from what I'm looking at, it does look interesting. It definitely has a slasher movie vibe to it. And here's the other thing, too. This is a slasher movie that's made in Sweden. So this is a Swedish one. Okay. So, kind of interested to see this. So... After Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, guys, my next pick will be a Netflix movie called The Conference. The Conference. Yeah. Let me, read, let me, just, read, let me just read you the plot synopsis. I'm going to read this. Okay. Uh, the slasher movie is about a killer haunting a job conference that goes above and beyond. And uh, this was actually one of the top 10 Netflix movies in 66 countries when it first came out. So this movie got a lot of views when it first dropped. Tall order, man. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, that's going to be in two, well, about three weeks now because we're gone for the week. All right. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Interesting. All right. So, uh, we're gonna go go ahead and uh, end it there. Uh, next, uh, oh my god, two weeks will be uh, Friday the third. Why am I? Dead? This movie got me all. This, this movie, this movie, this movie got me all fucked up. All right, so Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, Freddy's Revenge, and yep. then will be the conference. So. All right. So in that case, uh, Paul, go ahead and tell the people uh, where they can find you. <laughs> All right, man. You can find me on uh, Facebook's Paul Burt Photography Corner. I will be catching photos from the uh, event I'm going to be going to next week. So be on the lookout yeah. for that. There'll also be photos of me in costume. And for anybody who doesn't know what my costume looks like, just look on the screen, folks. If you look at my profile picture, that's my costume. You have to zoom in on it. But uh, James knows what it looks like, and any of my close friends will know. That's going to be a fun event. And also, if you're on Facebook too, support Indie Horror, which is a horror group that I run. We're nearing 9,000 followers. If you want to find us some really cool, interesting horror content, horror books, ebooks, uh, upcoming indie horror events, you'll all find it there in that information tab because there's some good stuff in there, folks. See how I just did there, Paul? I just burned. I just burned the goddamn film. You burned it, huh? Yeah, I, I just uh, burned. I just burned Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I just did. Um, it, so yes, you, know, so. you can see a close up of what I'm wearing for my costume. It's right there. Yes, yes, I, I do. do. Yes, indeed. I actually one of my one of my friends was asking me what's the name of your character, and I just said, well, I didn't think about it that far ahead, and uh, now that I think about it, I'm kind of with that skull mask I got on. I guess you could say I'm a. I'm a Venetian revenant, something that's back from the dead, in a way. Cool. All right. And um, of course, you can find me over at the Primetime uh, Podcast. Um, shout out to uh, shout out to Mark. I believe Mark said over the week he had to get surgery um, on his neck. Oh um, shit! What happened? So. Uh, it, it just it's just, just something weird happened where you know 
he was just kind of moving his neck a certain way, and then it hurt, and found out that uh that that he that got that was snapped, like on some snap. like like on some like 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 on some edge shit. Like it was really weird. Uh, I believe he said Tuesday he was gonna get surgery on it, so hopefully um oh. he's all right. That's why there's it's kind of been hasn't been much much content on the channel past week. Hey, hey. Hey Mark, if you're listening to this, uh, listen to this one back, man. Get well soon. I hope your neck recovers, man. Because a broken neck is no joke. I hope you recover good. For sure. For sure. Um, but yeah, so you find me over there, and uh, of course, Prime Time Movie Network here on this show. Hit that like and subscribe button, and other uh, Prime Time James Thomas Professional Wrestling Channel. <laughs> Go ahead, check out the promo <coughs> that nice. I did. With uh, with Rip Studwell, one of them. Shout out to one of the Discord members. Um, a pretty high compliment, where he told me that the promo reminded him of the Eddie Kingston Dean Ambrose promo. You know, I was kind of thinking the same thing too. I was I was thinking that, but I couldn't think of the name at the time. But yeah, you you definitely yeah, had that yeah, vibe yeah. going on. Yeah, the Dean Ambrose, uh, Eddie Kingston promo, um, yeah. when you know when they were like super face to face, you know, and um, I think Dude, Dean Ambrose was a champion at the time. Yeah, he was. I mean, the tension was so thick you could cut that motherfucker with a knife. Well, and as you can see with what I was wearing, I was kind of going for that Eddie Kingston vibe, you know, with the backward hat and then the and yeah. the and the and the Bulls jersey. Yeah, um. Well, I was watching a couple of Eddie King promos too, you know, to, be, to get mentally prepared for it. I guess it just kind of just took over me. Um, oh, you had to do that. You got, you got, to, you got to immerse yourself in that character. That's one of the things they teach you and acted. You know what I mean? You got to completely immerse yourself. You can't be, you can't be that per. You can't be who you are in real life. You've got to be that character. It's the same with what. what, what yeah, put my teeth back in. It's the same with what I do with, when I put my costume on. I'm somebody else completely. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, you know, um, yeah, but every, yeah, but uh, but the people that were in attendance told me that um, it was really great. They were really invested into what we were saying. Um, yeah. Of course, had a couple, you know, had a couple boys in the back. They're kind of be like, you know, oh, it went a little too long, and then I'm like, man, fuck you, oh, fuck that. But, um, <laughs> but the match has to deliver now. You've got it. You've got to. You and Rip have got to pull out the stops, man. It Go will. It, 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 it will. It will deliver. But I, I just thought. I just thought that was just so funny. I'm just like, yeah, I, I did what you. We did what you can't do. But um. Yeah. But uh, that's actually talk people in the building. But um. Um. But yes. It, 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 but if you haven't. Check out that promo. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, um, but 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 yeah. But but when 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 they said it reminded them of you know, you know Kingston and, and 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 Dean. I'm sorry, John. I'm like, oh great. I'm, yeah. I'm to be to be compared to that. It's always nice. It's always nice. It is a cool um, promo. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, hopefully everybody has a great weekend and, uh, we will, uh, uh, next Saturday actually will be the street fight with me and rip next Saturday on the 27th. So I probably will post the match either Sunday or Monday afterwards. Um, it me the link. For sure. Yes, de definitely looking forward to it. Um, should be a good time. Hopefully everything goes well. And um, which I believe it will. So, yeah. all right. So that concludes episode 85 of the Gorehound Show. Uh, I am Primetime Day Thomas with the Gorehound Show, Paul Burr. We'll see y'all in two weeks for Nightmare. I was right. Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. part two. Uh, Freddy's Revenge, and uh, we will uh, talk to you guys then. We are out, and uh, peace. Laters.